Okay, we have one minute and 25 seconds left. He's going in. He's got two dragons and a flying fortress and some skeletons. Can he do it? 94%, one minute left. Can he get this done? Oh no, the Inferno Tower is locked onto his dragon. The dragon tough is getting burned down. Ah, dragon goes down. Can the flying fortress get the Inferno Tower before the Inferno Tower kills the flying fortress? Can he get it? Can he get it? Ah! Flying Fortress goes down, but he has all these skeletons. Skeletons are working. Skeletons get it. Skeletons get the Inferno. 97%. 54 seconds left. This is going great. He's got this. He's got this. The skeletons are getting there. The skeletons are... Oh, no. Oh, no. They weave the first one. They're on it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're on it. Wait, what is this? Oh! There's another rocket. No. 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 Wait, the other rocket isn't shooting him. Wait, the other rocket is actually not shooting him. Let's speed this up. The other rocket right here is actually not shooting. Those skeletons are safe. They're out of range. Wait, can he clutch this? Can his skeletons clutch this? Oh, oh, can he make it? Seven, five, three, two, one. Oh, no. 99%. everybody and welcome my name is DJ Garuchik and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be looking at some impressive attacks and some people who came so close so close to one-shotting various districts listen if you're from India thank you so much thank you for your support I appreciate you I see you guys in the YouTube analytics constantly there for me thank you guys thank you to all my followers from the United States I appreciate every single one of you and thank you to my followers from Indonesia you guys are definitely holding me down. Thank you so much. Anyway, with that said, let's look at some of these replays. So we're going to open up with this first attack here. This is the one that you guys just saw. My man came in with two dragons. He, um, you know, tried to burn all these ground defenses down. I think that was a solid plan. Um, and uh, everything would have been great. But this dragon decided to go down and then he decided to go up. Maybe just maybe if he did not deploy both his dragons there and instead deployed one take care of those uh, rocket artillery he would have had it but um this was it this is the double infernos the double infernos while you're dealing with one inferno the other inferno will wreck your existence and that's what happened here and the rocket they dodged one but they could not dodge that second hit and unfortunately we know how this story ends my man came in jesus you almost did it but unfortunately he did come in with that time fail I'm not going to play the second attack because, as you know, he definitely destroyed it. Okay, and then Jesus comes in and, you know, says, I'm not going down so easily. And he took this entire base down in one shot. Let's look at this amazing work here. We have the Flying Fortress working over here while the Flying Fortress and the Dragons coming in to assist. While the, and then we have some Super Wizards down here. They're going to go after all of the air defenses to make it easier for our Dragons and Flying Fortress. And our dragons are working the bottom area here, taking care of all of these ground defenses. And uh, is this area right here, all of these, um, you know, spear throwers, they hurt. Guys, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Anyway, here he comes, coming in hot, coming in hot. Look at the damage. Look at that damage. You can't out heal all those spear throwers. You just cannot. He's just hanging in there. You're just hanging in there, but the dragons are just so deadly, and he was able to accomplish it. Congratulations, Jesus. You definitely have redeemed yourself. And let's check out one more quick attack. Okay, guys, we're coming in hot here. We're looking at the blood of Loki, Himalayan ghost. He's coming in hot with a whole bunch of ground troops here. He's got a P.E.K.K.A., Super P.E.K.K.A. with a cannon car. He's got the dragon and the flying fortress on that rocket artillery. And then basically all of this is the ground defense area. So of course the dragon and the flying fortress are going to easily take care of that. And then our super P.E.K.K.A. and cannon cart are going to slowly just work our way up. I'm going to speed this up. They're going to walk their way up through all of these defenses. These defenses cannot do nothing to them because they are air targeted defenses. And um, yeah, so far everything is looking great. Um, is this going to be a one tap? Is this going to be a one tap? Let's see, now we're fighting these, um, ooh, ooh, drop the rage, nice. The cannon card does go down, the super packet does go down. Yo, these spear throwers are starting to look like they are the, you know, heavy duty defenses here. You know, they do pack a punch, they do shoot pretty quickly. 
but um, nope. There was just two little defenses in that area and he was able to get that 100%. Nice work. Anyway, thank you for watching. These attacks have been very, very impressive. Some of them were able to get the 100 and unfortunately some of them came very, very close. I'm gonna have more footage for you from this war in my upcoming videos, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, guys, stay classy, stay sexy, and um, stay healthy, all right? I'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody.